I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself and not one that others expected of me. This was one of the top five regrets of the dying that Bronnie Ware recorded in her book, which was based on people at the end of their life and some of the most common regrets that they'd had. So today I want to talk to you about the importance of being true to yourself. Why is it that so many people go through their life worrying about what others think of them, worrying about the actions that they take and the possible outcomes of it if we say the wrong thing or we do the wrong thing? We are stuck in this place of fear and worry and thinking about things outside of ourselves. And in doing this, oftentimes we're actually restricting the flow of the energy within ourselves. We have the fear of being judged, of being criticized, of being disliked. And we just end up people pleasing. We can say things to make other people happy. We can say the things that makes it feel comfortable and pretend it's okay. But deep inside, we're just holding on to stuff. We're holding back and we're not truly happy. Because when we stop that flow of the natural energy that flows through us, it stops us from living up to our fuller self and we're always going to feel like something is missing. And that's because we're emotional beings. We express and when we close off that expression and close off that flow of energy, it causes us to feel unhappy, unfulfilled. How can we ever show the world the best version of ourselves if we're closing off to what we're capable of? How can we show up every single day with that energy, with that excitement, with that happiness, with that gratitude, if we're constantly living in our shell and closing off that natural flow of energy? We're simply accepting our conditions at face value and we're just living our life based on all of these things they're affecting the way that we feel. Why does it really matter about your actions and other people? Why can't we sometimes learn to be a little bit selfish and think about how we feel and what we want and what makes us happy? Because at the end of the day, we need to take responsibility for the way we feel and for the lives we live. It's so easy to get caught up in the outside world in the outside circumstances and let that dictate how we feel. But if we want freedom in life, if we want to create emotional freedom and physical freedom, we have to be willing and we have to be committed to doing some of the work that feels uncomfortable. It's okay to stand up for yourself, to set boundaries, to make decisions based on what you believe is true to yourself. Of course, sometimes people are not going to like a decision that you make. But if you know in your heart that your intentions are good and you're doing what you believe is right and it's what your journey is and your destination of where you want to go, that's totally fine. We can't get too caught up in someone else's opinion or someone else's belief patterns about what they think is right and, and wrong. Life is about creating what you want to create. You see, if we don't create the life that we want, we're going to live by default and we're going to live in comfort and be restricted by fears. Because as humans, we like to stay comfortable. But in the comfort zone, as I've spoken about before, you're never going to grow. And the problem with that is that life is always moving. Nothing ever stays the same. So if you want to control the things as they change and you want to create the life that you want, then you have to take responsibility for your actions. You have to make decisions that are in alignment with the things that you truly want. And you have to be okay getting uncomfortable, having some difficult conversations from time to time. One of the most common things that I've heard people say over time, which really stands out for me, is when they have this idea in their head that they need to meet their parents' expectations of what they think they should be doing. And this is very true when it comes to education and career paths. And I understand people come from different backgrounds and different upbringings and have different views on that. And that's totally fine. But as individuals, I think we all have a responsibility to make a decision that we have one chance at life. 
and we should make the most out of it. There are so many opportunities in life. And when we can start shifting our mindset and we can start looking for the good in things and we can start feeling gratitude, we can start bringing in new experiences into our life that is going to help us to become more fulfilled. Because at the end of the day, when we get to the end of our life, we don't want to be one of the people that has to say, I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself. Surely you want to be saying that I maxed out in my life. I lived the life that I knew I was destined to live. I, I played full out. Yes, there's going to be some setbacks and bad experiences along the way, but it's that constant growth and pushing through these things and living in alignment with who you truly are and being true to yourself. It's about being authentic and not letting the outside noise and the outside world dictate any of the actions you take. So it really comes down to your personal power, how you feel about yourself, the self image you have of yourself and understanding with clarity what it is that you truly want in life. And once you can focus on that, it will help give you an inner drive and inner motivation to go after that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider subscribing and sharing it with someone else. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.